Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, we're going to talk about the actual cost for $15,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 56-year-old female. Now, first thing you need to know is you can go directly to our website at funeralfunds.com. Uh, we've got these free quarters on just about every page. And just select the state that you live in, and we're licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount. And then just put your birthday day in, in, other information, fill it out, click Get Quotes. And it'll take you to a page that will show you all the best insurance companies available in the state and all the best pricing. And you can be a smart, educated shopper. And we can certainly help you out with that. You can also call us at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. Now, the first thing you need to know about $15,000 worth of insurance for a 56-year-old female is, is that going to be enough coverage for what you need? Now, if you're going to be cremated and you're going to come home in a cardboard box or an urn, that's going to be between one to $2,000. So if you've got a $15,000 policy, you're in great shape. You can stop watching this video. If not, keep watching the video. Um, if you're going to have a cremation and going to have some sort of ceremony, like a celebration of life or remembrance ceremony, something like that, that's probably going to be between thirty-five dollars to $4,500. So obviously $15,000 is going to be enough, but um, you know, we'll tell a lot of people that, you know, just get enough as insurance to handle what your final needs are going to be. Don't, don't overinsure, um, just because it's money out of your pocket. Most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income. So if you're just going to come home in a cardboard box or an urn, you know, maybe five to $7,000 would be appropriate. If you're going to have that ceremony, you know, maybe seven to 10, maybe a little bit more, um, maybe even up to $15,000, but just keep in mind that if your budget's tight, um, you can get a smaller amount of insurance now, and we can always help you add more coverage later. That's what a lot of people would do. Now, if it's going to be a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. And I, I can tell you one thing, that's not going to be anything fancy for $10,000, but uh, you should be able to walk into just about any funeral home in the United States, and they will get something done for $10,000. We can't imagine that they would let that check walk down the road to their, uh, their competition, you know, so, but by the same token, you're age 56. And if you're hoping to live to age 66 and 76, that $10,000 is not going to be enough in the future. So a lot of people would maybe look at maybe, you know, the 15,000, which is what this video is about, maybe even a little more up to 20,000. But again, don't overinsure and don't feel bad. If you can't afford everything all at once, you can always add more coverage later. Now, one thing we always recommend is first aid coverage or benefits, and that's exactly what we help people with here at Funeral Funds of America, because you don't know if you're going to live another 20 seconds or another 20 years. So you want a policy that's going to pay out from the very first day. Now, a lot of times people will say, hey, I want first aid coverage, but those plans uh, have health questions and I've got some health issues. And what we say to that is, yeah, you let us worry about that. We'll help you out with that. We work with enough different insurance companies that 99 99 we work with enough insurance companies that 90 to 95 percent of the time we're getting first day coverage now the only time we wouldn't get first day coverage is if you have some really significant health issues going on like maybe you're diagnosed with a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months or you've got dementia or dialysis you're on dialysis or you're in a hospital or in a nursing home something like that if that were the case we'd probably just refer you out to a different company and help you out that way. Uh, also, we, we do get calls. It seems like every week where somebody says, hey, we had a family member die this last week and they didn't have insurance. We don't have any money. The body's down at the funeral home. The funeral director's not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance policy really quick to get that get the funeral home guy paid. And uh, we've got to explain to them that there, there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer an insurance policy on a dead person. So... It's just really sad that somebody did not care enough about their family to protect them both emotionally and financially and dump this terrible tragedy on them. But it's not a surprise. They knew they were going to die and they just ignored it. Don't be that type of person. That's not a cool thing to do. Now, the one thing we don't recommend is two-year waiting period policies. And there's a lot of companies out there. Colonial Pen is one of them. Uh, they just advertise a lot, so they're fairly well known. Just understand their $9.95 plan, $9.95 plan is a two-year waiting period policy, and we don't recommend that. Other companies out there offer two-year waiting periods, uh, Mutual of Omaha, United of Omaha, uh, AIG, uh, Gerber. 
So, and there's also other companies that that's all they offer. And a lot of those companies have done a pretty good job of convincing, you know, the American public over age 50 that the only thing they'll qualify for is a two year waiting period. And we always go, ha, <laughs> uh, that is not true because we help people with first day coverage all day long. So don't fall for that in marketing. Now, a lot of people, you know, females age 56, would look at the commercials and they go, oh my gosh, for $9.95, I can probably get $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, maybe even $50,000 for only $9.95. And then they call Colonial Pen and they find out, uh-oh, you know, that doesn't work that way. So female age 56, $9.95, one unit only buys $1,719. And... That's barely enough for a cremation these days. In some parts, it's enough, but um, gee, you got to consider you got to wait two years for this policy to pay out for any health or medical related cause of death. So inflation is going to take hold and it's going to be worth less than in two years. So why would you do that? Why would you get a policy that's that way? Let's check pricing though, because I know we're looking for 15000 We've got to go buy units. You can't just buy 15000 for a 56-year-old female. Because it comes up with these wackadoodle numbers like seventeen nineteen based off per unit pricing. Let's see, what would that be? Would it be nine units? Okay, there we go. So nine units it would be fifteen thousand four hundred and seventy one. That's probably as close as we're gonna get for around ninety dollars. But is that a good deal? Let's check out some first day coverage here. So fifteen thousand dollars for a fifty six year old female. Get quote. And remember we're fifteen thousand for right around ninety dollars, fifteen four seventy one. And we go here, and it's only $39. So if you doubled that, it's 80 So it's like way less than half the price. Uh, think of it this way. The Colonial Pen is much more than 200% more expensive than first-day coverage. And Colonial Pen will force you to have a two-year waiting period. And they will give you the privilege of overpaying on this insurance for the rest of your life. So it's $90 versus 40. That's an extra $50 more a month. That is $600 more a year. If you live 10 years, you've overpaid $6,000 on a $15,000 plan by going with a two-year waiting period, more expensive company. Why would you do that? Keep that money in your pocket. Trinity Life Insurance, great company. We work with them. Level coverage means first day coverage. That is pretty slick, and you've saved a lot of money. Let's look at some other companies here. See, and you'll be able to see all these companies on our quarter. You'll be a smart shopper, and go down here. Oh yeah, like Lincoln Heritage. So Lincoln Heritage, they're a fine company, I, I guess. And level coverage, first day coverage, but look at that, sixty dollars. And the reason they're more expensive, they they've got a thing where, you know, when you pass away, it. They will call like two, three different in, uh, funeral homes to like kind of get the best pricing, I guess. And they'll maybe do a couple other things. But you pay for that service in the premium. So that's $60 versus $40. Uh, so that's roughly $20 more a month. That's $240 extra a year. After 10 years, that's an extra $2,400. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth somebody making just a few phone calls maybe doing a couple other things and charging $2,400. Most people would say that's kind of expensive. So what we've done at funeralfunds.com, we have a free, free funeral and estate planning guide. And we just, you can print that out and write down who gets what, what goes where, how, how you want your final arrangements done, burial, cremation, all that stuff. And we recommend you just keep it with your insurance policy. And that way, when you pass away, your family knows everything that you wanted done at the end of your life. And you've not only protected them financially, but also emotionally. And they will know that, you know, well in advance of your death, you're loving and caring for them and thinking about them and protecting them. And what a cool deal to do for your family. Let's look at some other insurance companies. There. Lumico, 52, $12. That's going to be $12 more a month. That's $144 a year. That'll be $1,440 over 10 years. Why would you overspend? Don't do such silliness. So, again, you can go to our website, fill out the quarter, call us at our toll-free, 
And if you've got an existing policy and you just want to price shop that or see about adding coverage to it, we can help you with that. If you want to check out pricing on a brand new policy, we can help you out there. Or if you just have some basic questions or detailed questions, any questions at all, just reach out to us. We look forward to helping you out with this. Until that day comes, you stay safe. You take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.